Hey guys, so I was going to include this as a quick update in my last video, but it sort of took me on this really weird journey that I thought I would share and it may help out a couple of you. It all starts with my last video. This is my go-to when it comes to headphones. I hook it up to my, if you could see my GSX Mini over there and this, this is the DAC. And when I go portable, this is more than sufficient. Now the problem, if you guys caught my review for the Mojo 2, I had this problem with intermittent white noise. And I solved that problem by getting this DD Hi-Fi cable. That was all great and everything worked perfectly and, I, and it fixed the noise issue. There's a but here, I'm sure you're sensing that. I upgraded my iPhone 13 Pro to an iPhone 14 Pro Max. And now I, I have the problem again. I'm getting the intermittent white noise with the DD Hi-Fi cable. So I wasn't sure what to do. I contacted Cord and they told me I should send it in to their, uh, I guess their distributor, the people that work on it in Texas. Modification needs to be made to the USB connection. So I don't know if, if you guys have had this problem, let me know. Um, it's just weird that it worked perfectly with my 13 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, I'm back with the issue. Now I have uh, the a camera adapter for the iPhone, so I've been using that, but the weird thing about the camera adapter is the, the bit rate doesn't always change. Sometimes it hangs on the bit rate that was playing in the previous song. It's, it's weird that if it's an iPhone issue that it wasn't an iPhone issue on my older iPhone. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what they say and I'll, I'll keep you guys in the loop. All right, so here's an update for you. I got in touch with Bay Blur Radio, who I originally bought the Mojo from, and it's still under warranty. They got in touch with Cord, who explained that there is a firmware update for the Mojo 2 that addresses the white noise issue, the intermittent white noise issue. And get this, she said that it's a Canadian problem. I don't understand that. I mean, I don't understand how the intricacies of of it being a, a Canada only problem, but that was really interesting. So I'm on my way now to Bay Bloor. They're, they've got instructions and uh, a firmware to load on my Mojo 2. And I'm gonna see if that makes any difference. I tried actually cleaning out the port, the bottom port of my iPhone because it's, it's dirty and it's in my pocket all the time with a, uh, with a bulb blower that I use for my camera equipment. And actually a lot of dust came out. So I thought maybe that was that was it, that that was gonna fix my issues. But it, it turns out it wasn't. I listened to the Mojo for about 10 minutes and lo and behold, I got, I got the, oh my God, there's a bus going into me. Oh. So I've left the Cord Mojo at the store and they're working on it now. I had to go pick up my kids, so. What they have to do now, I spoke with the service guy, is he's going to open it up and Cord sent him these files that they're going to download to the FPGA. He's got to put it in some sort of install mode and that's why he has to open the case up. So they're going to install these files that Cord sent him and these files are going to tell the FPGA to avoid uh, any packet loss, which from my understanding is things over USB get sent in packets, which, which are groups of data. Supposedly this fixes the issue or mitigates it, and we'll see what happens. Now, before we go deeper down this rabbit hole, I wanted to take a quick look at Cord's premium leather case for the Mojo 2. Initially, I wasn't gonna pick this up, but I got curious. It turns out to be really nicely made. The leather's thick and has good texture to it. The red stitching gives it a nice but subtle pop of color. While it covers the button indicators, the case still reproduces them embossed within the leather itself, which is a nice touch. An added bonus is the leather also makes Mojo 2 easier to slide in and out of pockets. While this isn't a must-have accessory, it's well made and worth its high asking price in my opinion, especially if you take this thing everywhere you go. All right, picked up the Mojo 2. Hopefully it's fixed. So I get home 
I connect my newly updated Mojo 2 with the DD Hi-Fi cable to my iPhone and not even 10 minutes goes by and yeah. same problem. So I go back into troubleshoot mode. I've got my lightning to USB camera adapter that I bought and I actually picked up a USB-A to USB-C cable that turned out to work almost perfectly. So in further troubleshooting, I got this little USB-C to lightning cable that came with my BTR7. I got the Apple version. I connected it to the Mojo and not even three seconds went by and I got the white noise issue. So something's going on there. Now, since I have the BTR7, I decide to do some more troubleshooting. I connect the DD Hi-Fi cable that won't work with my Mojo 2 and, and iPhone and connected it to my phone. And guess what? It's not the cable. The cable works perfectly with the Fio BTR7. So that was interesting. I listened to music on my iPhone for about an hour and a half and I didn't get so much as a hiss of white noise. Everything works really well. Now, sound quality, I'm sorry, but it, it's a great little device, but it doesn't hold a candle to the Mojo 2. But it worked perfectly. The bit rates changed as they should, and I had a great time listening to music for that hour and a half. So it's not the cable. What's going on here? A few weeks later. So I'm now on my way back to Bay Blur Radio. Um, after a lot of back and forth with uh, one of their managers and with Cord themselves, um, they've decided to issue me a replacement that may or may not fix my problem. And I actually got a bit of a clarification on the firmware update that I did. They were under the impression that the, uh, the iPhone had an M1 chip and the firmware update is, uh, it updates the buffer to the M1 chip because they were having problems uh, with the Mojo 2 hooked up to a Mac. I never had that problem. I'm My problem's different with, with uh, the phone and with the iPad. I don't know, this may or may not fix the problem, but uh, they're being very proactive in, in handling this. And uh, they also said that uh, Cord would be doing some more research on this and uh, there may be a firmware update down the road. There may not be, uh, my unit may just be defective, which is probably the best case scenario. All right, I got it. This is pure audio, let's hope. So, I get home. I sit on this chair. I boot up my brand new Mojo 2 replacement and I start listening to music. Of course, having a great time, everything sounds amazing, and 10 minutes go by, nothing. No white noise issues. 30 minutes go by, and at this mark, I think this is the longest I've ever gotten without getting blasted with white noise using the DD Hi-Fi cable. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked at this point. 40 minutes go by, and I'm convinced that the last mojo was Something was wrong with it. At the 45 minute mark, I decide that things are looking really good. So I type an email to the manager of Bay Blue Radio, thanking her for all her help. And I push send. And just a little bit later, <laughs> I get blasted with the white noise. Oh, so frustrating, it's, it's not fair. So later on, I switch to the Apple camera adapter and everything just worked perfectly, like period the bitrate also no longer hangs. So there was actually something wrong with my previous Mojo 2. But my combo with the DD Hi-Fi cable just isn't reliable anymore. I sort of wish that I had another iPhone 14 Pro to test out. If any of you guys do have one and a Mojo 2, please let me know if you're having the same type of problem. Supposedly Apple's iPhone 15 Pro is gonna have a USB-C connector, so perhaps this will just solve the problem outright. So to you guys that have stuck around this far with Mojo 2s, first of all, I'd like to thank you. And second of all, let me know how you're connecting them and what your experience is. As you can see, I sometimes tend to hyper-focus on the, the little nitpicks. Once I take a step back and look at the whole picture, the Mojo 2 is still my absolute favorite way to ingest music portably and still the best DAC at under $2,000, which is really saying something. So that concludes my weird convoluted little trip. 
if you're like me and you have an iPhone and want to hook it up to a Mojo 2, the only cable that I can wholeheartedly recommend now is the lightning to camera adapter from Apple paired with a USB-C to USB-A cable. I'll link the two below if you're interested. I'm using an Amazon affiliate links program now, so if you'd like to support my work at no additional cost to you, give it a click. Apart from that, I got nothing for you. Grab your stuff, head back to camp. Good night.